Storm's mana set Storm. Oh, that's the unfortunate series lag. Yo, someone banned Drip in man. Okay. I'm not a fan of that comment. Oh, yeah. someone said yes. Damn, alright. <laughs> Bro, Rafi's popping off. Let's go, let's go. He said, let's go. Hey, what's really good, chat? Yeah, we got Rafi hopping on the mic here for Grand Finals. <laughs> Cheering for his homeboy, K9. He drove him here. That's the reason he's still here. Yeah, man, I'm not trying to get popped off in the car, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get home safe, so. Uh, so we got K9 getting a quick early combo, 40% on Nico. K9, K9 made a really, really good run here. He lost early in winners. He made it all the way back to Grands. Yeah, today the, bra the bracket was kind of wonky. A lot of top players losing pretty early in bracket. Yeah, actually UCLA was showing up a lot. They yeah. we had one in uh, winners semis, and we had so, a lot of them making making runs in the losers bracket. So. Yeah. Do you know how, how they use it? Uh, how their matches usually go? Um, I'm not sure. A lot of them don't like make it super far. They'll make it out of pools, but like kind of get stuck in the 17th and 13th. I mean, this match. Oh, yeah. how do they use it? I'm pretty sure Nico usually just gets a lot of the the upper hands, but I don't Not know bad. how. Yeah, I don't know how often these two have played in Ultimate yet. That's true, that's true. Very new game. Definitely lots of improvement left to be done. So. Uh, speaking of left to be done, he runs up, just gets that quick down smash. It's a nice looking down smash. I like the, the claw, the claw marks. It's a nice down. Smash. It's definitely nice, but it's not. It doesn't feel good to get hit by. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Switching the shield. Don't don't ever try to combo me. Yeah. Get your hands off. Still, uh, Nico in a bit of a deficit, but we all know what he can do once he gets that one hit, gets her off stage, but jumping right into wow. that back air. Yeah, K9 game. Good call out there. Strong back here. Well, Kanan's still looking like he's carrying that momentum from like his losers bracket run, hoping to hoping to stop Nico and take home this hat. Grab him off the stage. That's a pretty ambitious read yeah, there. Forward smash, hard read. <laughs> All right, tries to go for the vision, not gonna hit. Kanan gonna get a grab. Look Actually, thirty-seven percent off of it. He's at that perfect percent right now. I think he's looking for it. <laughs> yeah, Kanan playing very smart. Nice tomahawk. Pushing Nico off stage. Trying to keep him there. He's getting a lot of percent on the ledge. And now Kanan is getting these ledge trap reads. He's keep, keeping Nico in the disadvantage. Neutral Tech not going to actually get stuffed out by the, by the down smash. Nico probably thanking his stars. Yeah. Talking about the ledge, I've had a lot of people tell me, uh, I know he wants to be king of smash, but I've heard he's been king of ledge. Oh my so, gosh. Wow. There's all these sets I've seen Kanan on, he's gotten you on the ledge and he just made you feel so helpless. Yeah, dude. Imagine me when I play Bowser, I'm, I'm stuck there. That's a good, that's a good call out right there. Forward smash, killing him. JV too. Oh, yeah. That forward smash, it just leans you back, so dash back and doing it. You you think you have that read, but then you're just in that empty space and you just, you get a free whiff punish. Yeah. So game one, going to K9. I guess they're going to go back to Pokemon. Going for the, for the, for the music counter pick. I like it. So that's both these players, uh, they have headphones in, they're listening, they want to hear, they want to hear some good music. That's true, that's true. So game two, same stage, same scenario, Three, will be the two, same outcome. One, go! <laughs> Try to go down to the platform, the stage is too sticky. <laughs> down throw dash attack. Going to the jump, alright, I was expecting maybe a shield arc so you could get a, just get a quick punish going in for K9 being aggressive. Yeah. I mean, you see the staple wolf combo starting up. Yeah, Nico 78%. Good little lead by K9. Oh, he even parried the uh, the Nair, but he wasn't able to get it because Shulk's job one really doesn't have a lot of range. There's a runoff here, not going to hit. K9's been doing a good job of avoiding those. He's getting those wolf flashes just at the perfect uh, at the perfect height. Yeah, exactly. Have you noticed? I'm, I swear, every time I play a wolf, forward is just... Like, Really good hitbox. I'm not really fast. Maybe game the combos. Combos in the fair, fair, up air, all that. That's great neutral for Wolf coming in. Lots of forward matches coming out. Trying to get that kill. Wow. Oh, getting sent to the nether. He, he nether. <laughs> right. He, he was trying to go off of that runoff fair, but that Wolf Flash is just a little too fast. Yeah, you came out too far, man. There's no going back. Yeah, Nico, Nico hasn't been really been able to get his uh, his ledge trap that he usually gets to. You know, when Nico has you on the ledge and he has you in that smash art, it's so scary. And he's able to get so much percent. Yeah. But we haven't actually seen him put K9 on the ledge yet. 
Yeah, and if you notice, Smash Art also ruined Kamen's combos. Yeah, that up throw, uh... He went up and he went flying up there. He went so far up in the air. I was... I think that's why he kept it up. I could have drove that fair again. I think he was scared of the wolf flash, honestly. Yeah, I, I'd be scared. 40%. I, I see that thing kill all the time. He's getting killed with like 15. It's so disgusting. I'll have to get up attack, though. Large forwarder. Forwarder covering so much distance. Yeah. Nico a bit down, but... I don't think he's worried too much. If he goes into Buster, or even doesn't need to, he's getting so much damage without good pressure, it. Good pressure, pressure. He's, he's already it. Yeah, 16, he's got the leader right now. That up air did like 20-something percent. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, oh, calling him out call with the up air. All right, Nico. It looked like Nico finally woke up. He's out here calling out every one of K9's options. Yeah, that's, that's stock that stock was ideal. Perfect. Perfectly played by Nico. So what is K9 going to do to come back? He needs to get the stock off now. It's going to be two or a one one. Mm -hmm. Now K9's still like trying to run in and get these reads, but he has to approach Nico now. And when Nico had to approach K9, he was getting a lot of percent, but he has to throw himself at Nico. Yeah, just go for those hard reads. He's going for hard reads. And well, oh, that one hit. Yeah. I'll <laughs> smash it one, so far up. 150, though. That's a good percent to die on. Not too bad. Still 73%. That's nothing to laugh at. Kano needs to, Kano needs to get one of these wolf combos before Nico can go into his smash art. Nico in a smash art, jump from ledge, and that, that's that's it right there. Yeah, even it up 1-1, looking shaky at the beginning, but that second stock, he just exploded. He brought it out. He read hand on every one of his options. He was able to even it back up. So yeah, the second stock was definitely that was, pivotal. That was brutal. Taking that game. Going to battle pool? I don't know if he, uh, if he wants that. There we go. <laughs> what music do you want, man? He can... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he pressed like X or Y by accident and then went in. Yeah. Whoa. We're not gonna see any characters, which is for sure. Is that the default Shulk uh, outfit? Is it? I know it's definitely not. Shulk has he got blonde hair, man. <laughs> oh, that's true. I don't know Shulk at all. It feels so bad. Getting into game three. No reason to run it back to, to any other stage. They both counterpicked on here. They both won one. But I think after this, we might see a stage switch. Yeah, no tech from K9. Leading into another Nair. I think it's so much percent. Yeah. Wow, that was a good call out on the grab. Ooh, that's another one. Yeah, kind of like very safe. Kind of risky vision going in for the wake up. Yeah. nico has been trying to. He's trying to force some options there. K9's not having it. Mm. Uh, I don't know if he's just trying to read K9 going in for like a dash attack or like a down smash. But no matter what, I'm not seeing how these uh, visions are going to help. Because if he goes to the jump vision, it's usually still going to get caught by that, by that uh, down smash. And yeah, speaking back here, crossing him up. Getting K9 stock. Oh, see, there, that was a really good vision. That's a good one. Yeah. Jab getting caught up by the up smash. Mm, jab not really safe on shield. And Fred didn't try to like stop after the first two jabs. Yeah. But he just committing to it, thinking maybe Kano will drop shield. Again, another even game. Nothing much separating the two. Uh, Kano getting a nice forwarder conversion. This, this is the ledge pressure right here. Both these players are really good at putting on the pressure on the ledge. But we've honestly just seen Kano get it a little too much, or a little bit more. If you, if you see that, how Kano just kind of takes a, does like a slow trot to ledge and does, does down smash. Yeah, he's trying to lure you in that false sense of security. Yeah. He's thinking, oh, okay, I can do it, but it'll be fine. And then he's already already over there. It almost reminds me of like how Smash Bros. They're like walking is better than running. Mm -hmm. You do like options out. But in this in this scenario, he's doing it just to I don't know make them do something. Yeah, just kind of yeah, lead him into that false sense of security. Yeah. Can I take him with another forward smash? Really? Can he go take this with the smash? K9 oh. just holding shield right there. He knew right there in the center of the stage, if he holds shield, there's no way he's going to die. Yeah, and that smash art just went away. That's all he needed. That's, that's what you need to do against uh, Shulk. You just need to wait out that smash art if you're on the ledge. Just wait out and use as much of your invincibility as you can. Call out that jump again. Wow. That was a great play. I mean... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say, why did K9 jump? 
Anyway, uh, that seems to be something you've been seeing K9 do a lot. Even in Smash 4, he would be uh, he'd be playing and he'd just try to jump to get out of disadvantage. Sometimes players would call him out like he just did. Yeah, honestly, just not good to jump against uh, a Shulk because he'll still cover you. That forward air covers up and low. So. Yeah, that forward air, that up air kills you so early. It's so strong still. Yeah. K9's got a nice lead here. Can he just finish this off for to win game three? Wow. Oh, he knew it was going to be a re-grab. He tried to, tried to kind of drift in and out, but it just wasn't enough. So that SD is going to be unfortunate. Kang going up to one. Hopefully going to reset the uh, the bracket here. Yeah. But I two did see one. yeah I did see Nico say he was just going to run it back. Let's see if Kang can reset. And I'm trying to go home, but I, <laughs> I'm trying to go home, man. Bro, honestly, but I do hope he does. I hope. Like, I, I want to see some. I want to see some good Smash happen, but I do want to go home. I'm yeah. pretty hungry. <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock. Places are closing. Canes, man. <laughs> oh, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna happen, bro. It's like 12:30. The place closes at one. Yeah, that's true. So unfortunate. But no, what was unfortunate? That's 60 percent combo unanswered. Yeah, he's been starting pretty much every stock off with a nice like 60 to 70 percent combo. And he's just been forcing Nico to just be on the on the uh, offensive, just having to bring it back. Yeah. And he's been doing it. He's been making all these right reads, but just think, if he didn't have to do all that, how much of a... This could have been a lot different set. Exactly, yeah. He just has a really good clutch factor, it seems. Getting the percent at higher percent, so... Both playing really safe. He just... Uh, K9 jumping over that forward tilt gets that nice back here to get the stock. I try to call him jumping again, but I don't think that upper would have killed that time at least. Down tilt, pulls out Smash Minato. Nice parry, that would have definitely killed. He didn't even like try to get a punish off that, he just parried to parry. Yeah. But goes with that up smash, almost gonna hit, but not quite yet. Wow, that was really good movement. That movement, was, that movement was crazy. He was jumping all over the place. Nico just kind of did that, that scaredy counter. Wanted to see what Kano was going to do. And he just, he waited it out fully. He yeah. decided what his option was going to be. And he just grabbed. Yeah, Kano definitely pressured that out of him. 62%. He's getting a good amount of extra credit on Nico. Yeah, right now, he, he's looking like his homework is doing really well. Yeah. He's looking to get an A. That was C. He just waits for it. Waits for it. And he just reacts to it and... That's called that ledge pressure. That's that ledge pressure. I've told, actually not going to take it just yet. And he recovers. No, he doesn't. Oh, Wolf Flash. Yeah, not really snapping the ledge all that well. Right now, K9 still living. Wow. This Bro, is, he's, he's not trying to die. Heard of percents. Oh, goes to the up smash. Spot dodge. Yeah, getting called out by the back right yeah. there. Nico finally taking that first stock, but 100%. Yeah. K9's probably just going to look for that back here. Yeah. The back here will kill a couple... Next one will probably kill a ledge. Oh, but Nico's going Whoa. in. He caught. He saw. K9 doesn't have that jump. 50%. I think he's dead. Imagine. That would have been the most. <laughs> that would have been so hype if he took that stock like that. He, he had the idea, but yeah. Ford Air just taking a little too long to come out. And he's going to get sent across the stage with that side B. Yep. Yeah, K9 probably counted his stars because he knew he was in a, such a bad position. Yeah. He got lucky. He got out of there. Shield not auto coming out. Make sure he doesn't get comboed at low percent, and honestly, that's probably the most the most important thing he needs to do. That's, that's just so good for uh, for Shulks. He yeah. can just choose to not get comboed, like a ladder combo, that's not going to happen anymore. Shulk, sure. don't combo me. <laughs> and a lot of times you can turn situations into negative things on hits, so you can actually get a punish for it. F tilt, not going to take it just yeah. yet. Ooh, that backer, not going to get the sweet spot though. It looks like Nico's kind of being a little too scared to go off stage. He doesn't want to get hit by these wolf flashes again. Yeah, he's Definitely on the end of the stock here. This could be the reset right here. K9's just probably two good hits away from it. K9, he's looking to wrap this up. Going to set two. Yeah. Wow, reset that 3 1. Bro, Nico, he's going back to, to PS2. K9 resetting that 3 1. Really clean stuff coming in. Yeah, he looks he's looking pretty confident the way he was playing. Nico mm. definitely looking a little shook. That's true. So a lot of these just a lot of these uh, games have been opening up with K9 getting a lot of these early conversions, a lot early percent. And so we're not really seeing Nico forcing Kano to approach. And when he did force Kano to approach, he was able to win. He was able to get those games in. Yeah, definitely. Three, two, one, I'd like to see Nico go. just kind of stay back a little bit, try to try to force uh, Kano to approach while go for these whiff punishes. That's good. Nair to grab. Converting. Is this another Nair to grab? It's like, good confirm at low percent. He's got 50 on him. Yeah, I'll see. 
Choke doesn't really have a lot of combos, but he does. He, he has a little bit. Yeah, a little bread and butters to start up the game. Shield and me yeah, coming don't, out. Don't try to combo me. What are you thinking? He's like Nair. Shield. <laughs> Oh, that wow. air dog's gonna get stuffed out. He got deleted. Yeah, this is Nico coming back strong. He's, he's not trying to. He's not trying to lose this right now. Yeah. So honestly, a really big lead coming in for Nico. I'd like to see what he's gonna do with this. If he's gonna force Kane under approach like he is right now. But I feel like that's been the way you've been able to shut Kane down. You force no approach, and he kind of just throws out a lot of these options, and then you uh, capitalize off of that. Exactly. Yeah. Kane just got it. Wow. That, yeah, that was, that was a crazy play. And it actually worked out. Yeah, swipe him away. That was something we saw Kana do it against Shine. He had him in a tech chase scenario, and he did that up B, but he was literally like a pixel away from a... Uh, no, it was against Master Mario. Uh -huh. And it was just a really good tech chase, because if it hits, it'll kill. It'll cover so, much, so many things, except for like get-up attack, or a really well-timed neutral get-up, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. So Kana um, pretty much almost bringing it back completely after taking that, <laughs> losing his stock at... Only having Nico at 11%, so oh, props yeah. to him. Little, little clutch moment. So, Nico going for his ledge trap of his own. Yep, just gonna hold shield. Try not to, not try not to get wolf flash again. When you get hit by those wolf flashes, when you're trying to edge guard wolf, you feel like you feel like your opponent didn't really earn that stock. You just he, they caught you over committing, and you just kind of get upset by that, you know. Exactly. Can I? Just ledge pressure, here we go. Starting up. Until, yeah, that hits him so far away. Wow, okay. But good tech coming in. Nico's not trying to lose that stock unless he absolutely has to. Yeah, Kanan's been getting called out a lot doing his uh, spot dodges. And Nico just does full hop fair and it just works. I'm going into shield just in case uh, that down smash did hit. I like the idea. I'm not sure if it would have saved him, but barely going to die to that. Yeah, back here at 120 in the center of the stage. That's a, that's a nice back here. That really is. Oh, that oh. fair whip. That's surprising. You know, like I said, that shield art. Get, gonna get him in the back there. Not gonna kill yet. He wasn't in smash, but I think he caught him holding away. He's yep. trying to, trying to, get, trying to get off the ledge. Or he might have just held too long at a high percent. You don't have much ledge invincibility. That's true. Really, Nico gonna. Nico not gonna really ask questions. He's just gonna take it and try to bring this back. Again, like every other game before, last stock situation. Just depends on who can get the pressure up and clutch out the last, last hit. Okay, he gets a couple of nares coming in, but a lot of these hits he's been getting in have been trades, and you really don't want to trade me at this high percent. Exactly. K9 has him on his last flip. One, 130. Nice, nice hit. He'll definitely take his stock. Oh, great roll away. I didn't even think he had enough stage to roll yeah. from. <laughs> K9 just missed, barely misfaced that. Because that definitely, that that play was definitely the right play to go for. 170. This is scary, but this we... This is scary, yeah. But Nico does have access to shield eventually. So that's definitely going to elongate his uh, his life oh. by a lot. Gets that air dodge read. This Dude, is where you're going to need to get it. can't do this. Oh my gosh, Nico, so clutch. That's crazy, dude. He knew he knew Kano was gonna was gonna wolf flash again. He's like, this happened last set. I don't know if he's gonna change it up. Shulk looking good. Yeah, that Shulk is looking good. He made just the right plays he need to. Even though K9 air dodged that first fair, he's like, I'm not gonna stop. You're in lag. Yeah. Once he got the double jump out, K9 really couldn't do much there. He he had to wolf flash right there. And it was just a matter of Nico reading the right one. K9 going high because he thought, oh, he's gonna expect me to go low, but Nico, he was there for it. That's that top player read. Exactly. So game two, grand final reset. Let's see what K9 can do. See if he can continue his momentum. There's definitely a lot of people who are thinking, yep, that's K9's game. He's got him at these percents. There's not much Nico could do, but K9 literally gave Nico one opening and look what happened. Yeah, it was like 50% to like 170. Definitely looked K9's favor and forward or back throw, smash Minato, call of the jump. That's it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like K9 is really ad adapting a lot. He's still doing the same options. He's jumping early. He's going for these wolf flashes, and Nico's getting wow. Caught him waiting too long. Held way too. Long. Yeah, Nico's calling out, uh, calling these out sometimes, but just not enough to really force K9 to change. Or yeah. maybe he's just waiting for that one time to do it, like he did for that fair to take it off. Yeah, I've been noticing K9 using his double jump, kind of afraid to get hit off stage, and 
it's definitely not been working out. And also, he's been trying to call out some rolls with up smash. And I'd say it's been working maybe like a third of the time. So, in reality, that's why he died last game. He did up smash, got back thrown, and that was it. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good point. Yeah, so it's almost it's almost not worth it, like you're saying. Yeah, at high, at, when you're at last stock and Nico's at 170, don't do anything too committal because if he gets you off stage, you're just dead. Yeah, Wolf does have the safe, safe smash tag, but they're safe on shield, not really on whiff. Exactly. It's not falling back here. Canine yeah. still not wanting to give up this stock. Yeah, Canine's got a good lead. You just got to keep it. Maybe take the stock. Use the rage, definitely. This is almost like his own, like, Ghetto Smash Minato right here. <laughs> that was good. Held back and then safely recover with side B. But nevertheless, stock taken. Forward throw. Now Kanon is moving. He's trying to condition Nico, but Nico's not really having any of it. He's realizing a lot of this movement is just like kind of to scare him. And if he keeps moving, he doesn't really, he doesn't freeze up. He's not frozen like a deer in the headlights, you know? Yeah, Nico's definitely this does not play like he's scared at all. He just continues fighting because he knows that he can definitely make the comeback whether he's at high percent or not. That's so important too, just to not be scared of your opponent because once they get into your head, they just have access to do so much more mental mind games to you. Exactly. Wow, that was a good. Yeah, that was an that was an insane cross up. That was yeah. up smash when he landed landed unsafely with back air on his shield and just threw out the up smash and killed. Yeah, I, I definitely thought he was going to cross him up, but he he positioned it so well that it was just such a mix-up. I don't blame Nika for falling prey to that. Yeah, and that up smash has sideward uh, hitboxes on the side, so that pulled him in for sure. Yeah, it, it scoops you in so many times. So Cannon about to lap Nico in three sets, yeah. Was that a reset? No, no. no. missed it. Yeah. Wow, that just went straight through the I can't believe that hit. Yeah. So, let's see Canine if he can take the stock before Nico has the same situation as last time. Yeah, if I'm Canine, I'm like, you know what, might as well close that with a two stock. I don't know what, I know what Nico can do, and I'm not a fan of it. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be one stock, one stock. So. Neutral and get up. should be it. Yeah, pretty yeah. much anything was going to kill there. He was caught in smash art. Yeah, Nico going to run that back, evening it up. Yeah, a little too committal from Nico there. Definitely unsafe, but... Yeah, because Kane, I committed to the neutral cut up. I was like, I, I thought Nico was just going to run up in fourth, though, because that would have killed. Yeah. But he just tried to go for, like, that all... That thing that would cover almost everything. Yeah. Just didn't hit, and that cost him the game. So, 1-1. One, one. Same situation, same character, same stage. Who's going to take game three? Honestly. Oh. Like, it's so much... You can't really write either of them out because mo most of them have brought it back from so much or so so big of a deficit, especially Nico. That man's, yeah. that man's probably the king of clutch right now. Exactly. He's been playing <laughs> pretty amazing at the very end of his stocks. Like, his clutch game at the end of the stocks. I don't know what if it, what it is, but if you could just turn that up just immediately at the start of the game and just destroy him so he doesn't need to clutch it out, it'd be so much better. Yeah. When I'd say I don't know if he's been doing it, but when uh, K9 starts his combos, just throw into Smash it to Smash Minato, right? To just ruin the combos. Just don't get comboed. That's it. You take less percent and less percent. <laughs> yeah. And we did see in the last game, uh, K9 did get like that fair string, and then he saw Nico straight go into the shield, and he just immediately F smashed. So that's yeah. probably the one problem. If you read it, you could get other combos that you couldn't usually get because of the lack of knockback. Yeah, and that's just definitely props to K9 for just knowing the matchup and knowing what to do in different scenarios. But it is an interesting idea going into the Smash Art to just kind of get flown away but not going to grab onto the ledge. You know he wanted to. Yeah. Oh, Nico's taking off the headphones. He doesn't yeah. want to hear it anymore. Probably a little tilted that he missed that. Probably a little hitting himself on, on the head for that. Mm -hmm. Nico's definitely one of those emotional players. He really does... He doesn't like to lose, and who does really? Yeah, and he's been known to take these tournaments, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to lose it. K9, great player though. Yeah, but falling prey to that roll into the back air. Yeah, back air covering cover so much. Almost half that stage. <laughs> Couldn't really do much about it. But only 37%. Nico's kind of calming it down. He's trying to run away from K9, but K9 has these long hitboxes to catch you off guard. That was good. Pop the air dodge in. Put him off stage. I can't believe that down to the hit because he definitely had the read. Wow. Canine reversed the ledge situation there. Can he keep the pressure? 
Wow. He actually, he had that idea. Yeah, if he just held the forward smash a little longer, that was a hit. Yeah, that would have been a huge momentum shift coming in, but unfortunately, it's not going to work out. Yeah, this game has definitely been back and forth, back and forth. Pressuring on ledge, pressuring in the center. Yeah, you see Kane on a 60%. Definitely, if you know Nico, you're like, yeah, you can take this back right now. Yeah. Like I said, he's got you in smash, he's got you on the ledge. He's ready to ledge trump, or ledge trap. There we go, got the air dodge. And oh, not wow. going to die to that, though. That's a good call out on the grab, on the roll. Run off there, that's finally going to hit. Yes. Go over that enough times, it's eventually going to hit you. Such a large hitbox, yeah. You can't really dodge it that much. If you go down there and you commit to recovering low, and you have to up B back, you're going to get hit by it. So, can okay, I take this stock off? He's got him off stage. You know, shield Minato coming out. Yeah, he doesn't want to die at all. And we see Nico finally with another another lead, and he's playing this pretty well. He's not overcommitting. He's forcing Kanan to approach. And Kanan, when he approaches, isn't really the greatest. He'll do a lot of dash dances, try to throw out these smash attacks to bait you into running in. But again, if you have that lead, you don't have to go near him. Yeah, I've been noticing Kanan doesn't do that well uh, during deficits when he's below. Not the best, especially against a Nico's Nico Schultz. This is just honestly, this is a momentum monster. Exactly, and when they're down to one stock each, he just clutches it out, man. Yeah. So let's see if Kanan can take some of that energy and clutch this one out. Immediately going into the shield. Over the dash tag still. Yeah, that was good. Put the shield up so he doesn't get knocked back and just reverse the situation. Yeah, I'm still surprised Kanan's going for this. I'd like to maybe see him go for like an up throw. Go for up throw upper, and as soon as he gets into shield, he would probably be able to get like another up tilt or something that you wouldn't be able to get. So that's another thing I've been saying about Kanan not adapting too well, but he's still being able to make these these moves and make these right reads. Yeah, Kanan's definitely playing a little safer. He's been coming back. Making me eat my words on the, on the comeback. Oh, this is scary. Wow. Catching him on the ledge. That was barely going to die. That got to have been like the first couple frames of uh, ledge invincibility. Yeah, that, that must have been like just the last frame. It just barely ran out before Kanan could even make a decision. Yeah. And Nico could have clawed way into a 2 1 uh, lead. Yeah. yeah. Another battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what button it is. Yeah. Again, like you said, you would have probably thought that uh, Kanan was going to take that, especially with the way he was playing. Yeah, they're both playing really great. It just, uh, just comes down to the last stock situation. Who's going to clutch it out? And it just seems like Nico's been having it almost every time, unless it's just too far gone. Yeah, it's, it seems pretty even throughout the whole match, and then when it comes down to the very end, it's just, yeah, the clutch factor of Nico definitely pulling through. Yeah, I feel like for Kanan, he really just needs to either... T he needs to just basically two-stock Nico to be able to get a safe victory because I feel like once you get down to that 1v1 he's like okay what if he does this he's been doing this a lot and it kind of gets into your head yeah so K9 starting off the game with a little bit of a percent lead 41 to 4 percent like usual <laughs> yeah uh, same situation as usual yeah 70 percent and then let's watch Nico start up his percent right here. oh I like that Nair F smash I'm not sure if that was true or not but either way it hit yeah, that's a good mix-up, for sure. And this is the percent we're talking about. This is, uh, it always starts K9 getting percent, and then Nico, and then whoever takes the, the stock first, that's just the thing that's variable in this set. Up till right now, he's got K9 at about 80%, which is kill percent if he kept this smash art on. There's the runoff fair again, not gonna hit. Ooh, dash attack almost killing. That Nair, that's going to be it, though. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have a jump or anything. That jump and out are not going to be enough. See those wave <laughs> yeah, Fancy stuff. Fancy stuff. Yeah, it's got to play safe right now. It feels so hard, Edgard and Wolf, sometimes. Because, like, you know where he's going to go, but you know if you make that wrong decision, it's so bad. If you get that jump read, but Shulk's up there literally not working. Yeah, just can't I pop you now. He actually hasn't gotten any extra credit. Oh, a bit of a string there, but not kind of not getting the right hits that'll lead into something. And I like how K9 swung right there because he knew Nico was probably going to throw out the fair, and the fair does take a bit of startup. Yeah, up till not yet killing, and K9 getting 50% of extra credit. Oh, but he caught K9 trying to go in and get some more percent, and Nico had a nice uh, a back air that just 
it hit so far back, so it was a great idea. And no matter what, Sour Spot or Sweet, it was gonna kill. Yeah, and both of them at even stocks. And uh, Nico being at 50% is not really a different situation, considering how K9 always starts off each stock comboing him. So this is pretty much how they, pretty much in the same situation as usual. Yeah, about even game, do a four throw. Not gonna go for down smash read. I like that tomahawk. That was a nice one. Yeah. Nair covers so much area. Wow, that was a great call out. K9 clutch air dodge there. Yeah, Nico trying to turn it up right now. Yeah. Goes for the roll in read. Not gonna, not gonna get it just yet. That's so dangerous when you want it, when you roll into the wolf because you know that's what they're looking for. But sometimes you just can't help yourself. Shield not coming out, just not trying to die as he recovers back on the stage. Back here, not enough. Canine. Oh, fourth house are not gonna take. Stock. Yeah, both these both these players keeping their stock. They're not trying to under Lock. as I say that runs into a back air. Yeah. Caught the roll. That's all he needed to do. Yeah, right now Nico one stock away from taking home yeah. this hat. Canine on his final stock of the tournament. What can he do to clutch it out? Just a lot of these games you just see what Canine's doing and you think, yeah, he's got this free. And Nico's like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, let me turn it up. I feel like Nico's clutchness needs to be like charged up like an uh -huh. ultimate and then once he gets it he can finally turn up. Like in the beginning that's just the weak state. Yeah, he definitely I think he starts downloading further and further into the the, the stock, each stock. Can I take in the stock? Only forty two percent down. Can he clutch this one out? That's true. Seeing uh got fair but didn't get the combo he wanted. And Nico not really trying to run at K9. He knows once he gets hit by one of those, one of his hits, it just starts the spiral, like just losing that percent lead. Just spacing out with that backer and that fair. That's so smart. Yeah, Nico's K playing very safe right now. He knows that K9's gonna try to run in and get these, get this percent in. And once he does that, he's gonna get a lot for it. Yeah. We haven't really been seeing K9 throw out a lot of blasters though. That is just. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that stage defining, like you have to avoid this now. K9 off stage. This is not a good situation for him. Goes to the back again, Good. but a little too much startup. Oh, that was really weird. You see how Buster just kind of stood out there as Shulk itself moved away? Yeah, there we go. Canines brought it back. Oh, Good. reading that roll, wow. That was great, great call out on the roll. But he wasn't shielding, not going to really be able to get anything there. Canines going to be looking for a down smash sooner or later. Down smash or back air. Canine just needs to take this stock now. He needs to take it now. <laughs> Don't let Nico put you off stage. That's Don't let really Nico get back to stage. F tilt. Yeah. F tilt does fly it. away. Wow, that was a clutch moment from K9. Yeah, K9 clutching out one of his own now. I'm. I like we're going back to PS2. If we're gonna be honest. Yeah. Game five. Wow. I have been trying to go home, and <laughs> he goes game five. Let's go. But these top players got to be so good. Yeah. They're really good at just. It's almost like a game of ping pong. Ball goes back and forth, back and forth. Make sure they got the right music in. So game five, no matter what, the the tournament's ending after this game. Who do you got? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's no there's no safe answer because you could say, oh, K9 free after he gets that 80%, and then you could be Nico free after he fares him at 50. That's true. I just got to take K9 at home, so I'd rather be happy than not. So. <laughs> Either way, no commentary bias. Oh, that's, a, that's a good point. But yeah, as we get into it, final game on Pokemon Stadium 2. The people in the crowd, they've been watching a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're probably... <laughs> what time is it at home, man? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely nighttime if you look at the background. Yeah. Dark out. They've been waiting a long time. This tournament's been running too long. It must be cold out, man. I don't know, man. Just miss the attack, but not going to try to go for that down smash re. Just go for dash attack, get him off the stage. K9 running up a lot, shielding, and then immediately grabbing... Nico finally gonna call him out, just go for a jump. Wow, that is so... Yeah, you didn't want to see that. I thought that was gonna grab the ledge. Yeah, he did not. It didn't look like it was gonna live. Maybe he held down, I don't know if that... I think he was just too far away. I think yeah. he started up his jump and just mistimed the whole Let's thing. see if I can take that and run with it. He's just gotta keep his stock. Yeah, if he if he loses because of that, uh, that SD, that's gonna be just so... Gonna make you so distraught. Yeah, he's not gonna like it. K9, getting... A little bit of percent there is extra credit. Extra credit counts, man. Yeah, and off definitely off that SD, he's forced Nico to approach, and that's where Kanan gets a lot of his whiff, his whiff punishes and his hits in. And Nico's kind of showing his hand a lot by going in a little more. He really wants to even this up because he's just not happy with that SD and that F tilt. Gonna hit him out of there. And it's, honestly, he's not that 
He's not that far off. His deficit's not too large. Yeah, that's just a couple of nair grabs and a, a buster combo. And honestly, I thought he was Nico, can <laughs> Nico can take the stock so much earlier than, than, uh, than Kanai can, can, exactly. Because, yeah, Wolf can't really edge guard uh, Shulk because of that up and how big it is. So he can't really hope to get one of those downers or those runoff nairs unless it's kind of at that awkward distance where you're not going completely under the ledge. So can Kanan take this stock now before Nico gets a good amount of percent on him? That's really the pivotal moment here. He's catching Kanan jumping a lot. You really just want to hold shield because if you get down thrown, yes, you might have to deal with the mix-up, but it's not like you're eating these combo throws or just taking this almost unnecessary damage. Yeah. And on offstage, you get... Whoa! The reverse suicide, pretty much. Yeah, wow. probably tried to hug the wall, but Wolf's up B just not wow. going to go far enough, unfortunate. First first suicides of the day, right, for the for these set? Yeah. Last game, too. This is uh, definitely not what they're looking for. I mean, it could be. It's almost 1 a.m. Yeah, it? yeah, it's yeah, it's 12.50, almost 1 a.m. Players might be tired, but now we got last stock Canine. situation game five. This is this is what's gonna determine it. Still 36% coming in. Really Canine close last stock situation. K9 needs one of his fair streams to get some uh, free 50%. Exactly. He's trying. To, he's looking for it too. He's just short hopping, looking for those falling fairs. That's not working in. Even then, that's trading. He was playing so smart, just running around, calling the grab there. Great spot dodge though. Nico's got gotten back into control even after that SD. Dash attack. Yeah, but yeah. not not safe, Reversal. man. Yeah, that shield off and get him. This could be it. No, we're not gonna go off stage. No, you need to do anything too fancy oh, back air. It. That's gonna take it. Roll. Nico gonna take that game five. That was so that was so heart wrenching off that SD. Yeah. So good stuff to Nico taking it. A lot yeah. of those times you really didn't think he was gonna be able to, to clutch that out. You thought Kano was gonna take that for free and he was he was just yeah. able to bring that all the way back. He just Suicided at the very end. That's you just not switch the momentum. That's completely. like the that's the worst time when you want to do it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that Las Vegas hoodie though. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Nico got the fashion. Hell yeah, yeah, good stuff to both players coming out. Thanks to everyone who came out to to hat. Definitely ran seventy five people. people. Pretty good number today. Yeah. yeah, it's just actually about ten people in the venue who are waiting for people to go home. I I kept some people.